I'm bold. Hello, everyone. Like, Hello. PMI doesn't call out the shots, she just calls out all the shocking moments that occur during the game. Like, oh my god, Orion just appeared behind me. Oof. And I have called that out. Or like, what the fuck is that charge? What the fuck is that hook? I, I call that out too. Oh look! <sighs> You're there. A lady. Oh, hello. Oh, stranger, please tell me you can help us. They really hurt my low. I leveled. Congrats. My love low tried to get permission to marry me from the patriarchs. Though they have passed beyond, their favor would carry a lot of weight. Thing is, they are spirits, and none of the gifts or tributes we brought impressed them. To win their favor, they claim that either Lo or Champion must defeat them in single combat. Lo is a good man, but not a fighter. Would you be our champion? Farewell. When you slowly become British. Not how you said that was slow. That was pretty much right from the get-go. <laughs> nah. Immediately it, British. You know, sometimes you just go immediately British. Pendrick oh, Golden yeah. Draft. I watch as my lineage is reduced to a faded memory around me. Once the greatest of all the brewmasters, we now stand backstage to the storm sense. Bah! Enough of that. A wander brew wants to marry a Golden Draft. Preposterous. Kind of rude. Keg of angry spirits. <laughs> well, I yield. The boy chose his champion well. Give him my blessing and make sure he does not squander it. You are in combat. You're in combat. I just fucking heal me. Pandriarch Windfer. Welcome. I hear you are responsible for saving one of my youngest descendants from the clutches of the Jade Witch. I thank you for your heroism. Challenge the banner. The you would champion the cause of such a lowly street rat? Very well. Best be in combat, and I shall consider you giving you my blessing. Street rat. Riff rat. I don't buy that. Wow, oh, he's strong. Lots of health. He does have a lot of health, but he's not that tough. Enough! You win, champion. Tell that upstart that he has my blessing. Man, it's very convenient that uh, they happen to allow this guy to have a champion do the fighting for him, and that we happen to be that champion. Greetings, blessings. Pandriarch Bramblestaff. Strength. That is the lifeblood of the Bramblestaff family. My lineage lives today as a testament of physical greatness, willing to take on any challenger. Next one is on. Me. At last, a challenge. Test your metal, champion. Test your might. You guys, remember those mini games in Mortal Kombat where? Uh, ah, Sparker. Where they'd want you to test your might or whatnot, and they'd have you like rapidly push the button to see if you could break. Wood, stone, iron, ice, like just various things. Donuts. Uh, I don't think they ever had me make make you break donuts. That was a fine battle! The likes of which I have not enjoyed in many decades. Go and give my boy the blessing the boy my blessing. Also, why is that guy yelling at us? Yay, I can swap my staff back out since I leveled. The staff they gave me was actually like an improvement. Previously. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. They they agreed. Fantastic. Thank you so much. With their blessing, we can be the happiest Pandara in all the land. Please take this. We meant to be to be a tribute for the Pandriarchs, but they didn't seem interested. Understandable. Shit. Now, do I haste the mastery or versatility of mastery? Versatility, right? I don't think. Well, there your no heirloom hope. necklace is likely better, I so... I do necklace. Y you should. Here they are, see? Told you I could find anyone or anything. Mr. Goldendraft, I humbly ask permission to marry your daughter Zyra. What? This is preposterous! Sir, what are you doing? She's a Goldendraft! It is not her name I am interested in. It is her. 
She's the kindest, nicest, prettiest person I have ever met. My Sarah will not be seen with the likes of a wander bro. Okay. Thanks, Bayman. What? You completely skipped your line. Oh. No father I will low was willing to fight the Pentriarchs for me. I took Luminol to champion us, but they consented. They agreed? They agreed? Yes, and now with your permission, I would like to ask for your daughter's hand. Well, um, I... Come on, Peiji. I don't like it any better than you do, but there's honor in the Patriarch's blessings. Fine, what done is done. But don't assume I will like this, or you, Kai. Same. I always get these kids back to Dawn Blossom. Well, that was amazing. What next, Mio? Thank you. Think you can get the hose in and Ginny to get along? No. Damn it, PMA, you've heard everything. I try my best. No, you don't. <sighs> I'm doing my best. No, you aren't. I'm doing things. Mm, I suppose that's true. my best. What? It didn't involve your best at all. Well, you know... I wonder where the tailoring trainer is. And enchanting, actually. Good question. You can look it up later. Oh, it's probably at yeah, the thingy. I would love to that we're going to. But understand, ish. I am in a real bind here. But look who has arrived. Mrs. Man, there's someone I would like you to meet. Foreman Man. Mrs. Man. How does today find you? Ah, hello again, Miro. You received my message then. I knew Toya would come through for me. He can get anything, you know. This ancient fresco was once inlaid with jade. Oh, but it has fallen ah. into ruin. And now I have no jade and I must awesome. scream. You get that now, huh? With the sudden arrival of strangers uh, on Pandaria. I have no mouth and I must scream. History can teach oh. us. I understand, Lord Walker, but the Serpent's Heart project is behind schedule and we've not a stone to spare. What is your hurry? Alright, you may continue. So do you see it? Yeah. Nice. Our whole jade supply line has fallen apart. The mines are a death trap, morale is historically low, and as if that weren't bad enough, the mason's quarter has been overrun by wood sprites. Now even the plants are out to ruin me. You need jade so badly, you can follow the road southwest to the mason's quarter and get it from those glorified chopsticks yourself. Could you expect these dumplings to clean up the mason's quarter? They barely even got a belly on them. Have patience, Mrs. Man. These yeah. strangers from beyond the mist continually surprise me. Yeah, we barely even got bellies on us. Well, I, I barely do. Winter, you're on the other hand. Oh what? shit, that's right. This is a, where a scenario takes place. Oh, the scenarios in uh, Mob, Miss Pandaria, they have these scenarios, which are like little kind of dungeons that you didn't have to like necessarily have any kind of role for. But then, like, not enough people were into them, even though they would give you things, um, and achievements, but people were like, fuck that, and then they never made any more scenarios. Oh, Chunk of Jade, I see. Yep, they just stopped the scenarios things after, uh, after Mop for some reason. And it's sad, because it was a pretty cool idea. I mean, they still have them, sort of, but they're just single-player things. Oh, really? Yeah. Really. They're like single-player quest things. And you, can, you can only do them the once. When they're, well, I know there's like player. the Proving Grounds bullshit, but it's not quite the same. At all. <laughs> wow. Ah, I'm too quick for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah there's a... This area here is where one of the, uh... One of the, uh, scenarios actually took place. It sure is. Can you even do the scenario still, or...? I don't know. Oh yeah! You can. Next scenario will be available at 30. At 30? At 90? Yeah, that also. I suppose we can do this at some point. Maybe. No, no, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, do you have all your, all your chunks? Because there's two here. Ah, uh, thank you. I have 11. Alright, I have 7. Why can't I loot them from this? Good question. That's rude. These things are called puckish sprites. P, how do you feel about puckish sprites? Wow, that's a lot of jade. Okay, just looting them gave me the jade. Cool. Great job. Awesome, sorry, great job. Yes, I was thinking that. Tim and Eric. <sighs> People need to chat more, guys. What up? Indeed. How is your weekend going? We need slimes on the stream. Come speak with me. Man looks at you expectantly, eyes wide and nostrils flared. Catch? They're playing catch with my product. Hope you showed those walking toothpicks a thing or two. You know, maybe you ain't a thought after all. I've been looking for some muscle to help out with my problem at the quarry. And judging by the size of the Lower Walker's restoration project here, I think you'll need a lot more jade. Indeed. That, that's gonna look nice. Patience, patience. You may, you may read this. Okay. Sorry, the music is still going for me, so I'm weirded out by it. Normally, we'd be more than capable of fulfilling Cho's request. Jade veins run through this land like... Man scratches her head for a moment and thought... Well, like something that runs through something else in veins. Look, I ain't a poet. Point is, we got problems. Calamity, Jade. <laughs> you ever seen a shell spider, Monk? Usually harmless, just creeping around eating rocks. But they got a taste for Jade like cups on candy. The boys call them nibblers. A few days back, we tunneled into a huge nest of these critters. They spilled out into the mines and went crazy. Chewed up damn near everything in sight, including some of the boys. You get in there and clear them out, and we got plenty of jade to spare. The quarry is directly west of here. Man's man. For once, the foreman lowers her voice. I didn't need to voice that. Look. This ain't easy. I got another favor to ask. My idiot husband, Shao, is a shift lead down at the quarry. I told him not to go back. I thought it was too dangerous, but he's as stubborn as a horse in them, twice as stupid. Says the boys need him around for moral support. Man sneers. What about my moral support? What am I gonna do if that idiot dies? Please, keep an eye out for him. Tell him to come home. Her eyes soften Stay before focused. she turns away. This area is a pretty green mountain range too. We're still in the same zone actually, P. Uh, it's just a uh, different part of it. Yes, it is parts of 
apart. Parts apart. So we're heading over here to the quarry. I feel like my accents are offensive. There's a quest here. Where? Here. Oh, so there is. There is. There is. The Sprite's Plight. Living statues rampage through the woods. Oh, you can read that, sis. Um, living statues rampage through the woods. For now, they seem content in pummeling the forest sprites into splinters, but if they continue any further, the Pandaren will have more than just Miss NJ to worry about. Um, K. I like that. You re as you're reading it, you're like, they seem content to just pum pummel the forest sprites, and then they immediately start punching me. It's like, what? No, they're clearly not content with just pummeling for forest sprites. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so, these stone guys, uh, we're gonna find out a lot more about them over the course of the expansion, but, uh... We should go to the blue part. Well, too bad, I'm already picking up all these guys. Holy shit. What? You see that? No. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. She Get out the way, bitch. I kick them all down. I feel like that's the only part of the lyrics that Wintry actually knows. Boom, bitch, get out the way. I'm probably saying that's probably not even the lyrics. It is! Move, bitch. If you could change your fate, would you? No. Feet? Fate. I would change my feet to not have them. Really? You just walk around on little stubs? <laughs> oh man. Can you imagine? I actually have okay feet, um, unlike most people. You're a but liar. I think feet are gross, so. She's such a liar. She does not have okay feet. She's the worst feet. Ew, no. Right, let's kill this one over here. Boom, bitch. Get out of the way. Feet are gross. I'd rather be in the sets in the world. <laughs> Alright. Each statue shatters with a blood curtling wail as spirits burst free. Statues are not merely animate, they are possessed. Mogu conjurers call forth hapless spirits from beyond, forcing them into statues. It seems that destroying the statues alone will not be enough to break the cycle. But, do question. it anyway. And this one, this, this head here. The I'll shattered remains this. of an ancient Mogu statue. This one looks like it was never animated before it was broken. Whatever dark magic the Mogu are employing here, it seems to have ma make the brittle statues significantly tougher. Better to destroy them while they are still vacant. A good old fashioned kick should do the job. Yeah, that's what I always say. Yeah, just kick these. Well, maybe you see these ones here. And there's a bunch of them right here. All right, let's just go fight all these guys. Winchig actually goes to. Uh, um, local museums and kick statues to see how pretty and brittle they are. No, I don't. And then she cries when her foot hurts. No. At least this shares credit. Sure. Oh, look, it's done. Alright, this one's mine. No, it's not. The statues topple and shatter with ease, a testament to the immense weight of the spirit. Alright, these ones were yours. Kill these sure. Guys. Oh yeah, you're right. You hear that? Winter doubts me all the time. You know, you doubt me. I have reason to. You, you're someone that's worth doubting. No. Name no. one thing about you that's not worth doubting. Uh, everything. Yeah, but name one thing, a specific thing. Last night, I was like asking Zale to give me an example of a time I was wrong, and he just kept giving me the example of like when he was talking to me right now. And I was like, no, I don't mean right now. Give me an example when I've been wrong before. And he just was like, 
you're wrong about this. <laughs> and I was like, no! And then I called him dumb. Because I said I'm always right. The spirits may yet find peace. Your mind is racked with a howl beneath it. A wispy voice is barely audible, as if from far away. Please help, heart of the ruins. A ritual, conjuring, should not be here. My staff, on the altar. Take it, please hurry. P says, all around the world, statues crumble for me. Oh, I know that song. I need to name that episode this, don't let me forget. All around the world, statues crumble for me. And I know how much Boom, I Boom, bitch, farted. get out the way. Alright. I don't... Who's the staff? I know the song. I feel like... <sighs> oh, we gotta slay ancient spirits, okay. I can't loot it. Did you give me credit already? No. Oh, all right. There is no loot. Maybe we gotta wait for it to come back? It shows up as lootable. All around, statues move for me. I wish I remember the rest of this song. Oh, I got the staff finally. Alright. Ancestors, hear me! I call you back and beyond! Alright. Uh, how much at the top of the screen, I guess for me, there's a bar? How much is it? Zero. Say? Okay, kill it. Kill those TF30. Before they get to the uh, purple thing there. I have 30. Okay. Enough of your interference, Blood Elves! Spear Claws, deal with these pests! Spin to win. More spirits! More quickly now! You can't stop, won't stop. You can't fire, will fire. You'd think he'd be like, you know what, this monk is spinning too much. Uh, I'm gonna try something. I will have you, Spirit Sage. No, your perversion of the dead ends here. Spirits of old, release you from my staff. Seek vengeance on this beast. Ugh, too much. It is too much. I cannot fall here. Not with so much work left to be done. All right, so he fucked off. See you later. See ya. I don't want to be ya. All these poor souls. Here, this will lead you home. But there's a quest turn in here. Spirit binding. How can the Mogu have been allowed to resume such a disgusting practice? And now here I am, the product of a half-failed conjuring. The spirit fumes for a moment, then turns to you. What century is this? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Pei Z, master spirit sage under the last Pandaren Emperor, Sha Shao Hao. At least I was. Alright, so we got a hammer. I guess I'll go with the spirit crusher. I feel Sol like. I'm go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, I feel like I'm starting to remember the um the lyrics. Oh. Sort of. Not enough, but. So many spirits held in captivity here. I can feel them everywhere. Even the walls are a cage for the long dead. Mero, we cannot simply break the sorcery over this place. Doing so would release countless agonized souls. Sorry, I lost my place. Uh, to wander the earth. They will need a beacon, something to guide them. With your help, I can create a Tan Chow, a bridge from this world to the heavens. For this ritual, I'll need a bowl, a candle, and a Jade Kong. You'll be able to find them all within the rooms. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Sugar Ray. God, I remember that. He just bitched out. Come back and die like a man. It is Fly so by many Sugar Ray. songs I love by Sugar Ray. I can't name any that I love by Sugar Ray. 
Do not take the practice of spirit binding lightly. If the Mogu are creating simulacra, you can be certain they're preparing for war. Vessels of the spirit. The spirit claws are a sect of Mogu assassin priests who, at the height of the Mogu Empire, were the most elite and most feared of the Emperor's troops. All have mastered a death blow which ensnares the spirit of the enemy, trapping it in a jade bottle for delivery to a spirit binder. If you encounter any spirit claws further ahead in the ruins, take note, their belts hang with a cursed weight. Relieve them of their burden and bring the bottles back to me. And the way we're dead. The process of mass conjuring, as the Mogu are doing here, is not without byproduct. Some spirits arrive too distraught or unruly to be harnessed, as they are confined and left to wander until their desperation leaves them more malleable. I suspect the Mogu have such a holding area somewhere nearby, likely guarded by spirit claws. Please, take my staff again and use it to collect the wayward spirits. You needn't fight them. Present the staff and they should be drawn in. Okay, so I looked up Sugar Ray and just, um, glancing, a cursory glance, I remember someday, someday when my life has passed me by, I'll lay around and wonder why you were always there for me, one way, in the eyes of a passerby, I'll look around for another try and I'll fade away, for yeah. us. Well, Pete the Magic D says Sugar Ray only had two songs. Uh, that's not true. There was one yeah. that was, like, really good. There's a rare over here. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah. There, there was one, uh, there was, there was one that was really good. Just like Chumbawamba had that one song that was really good. <laughs> every was... morning. Every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's or post bed. I know it's not mine, but I'll see if I can use it for the weekend or a one night stand. I never understood this song. Um, yeah, and then when it's over, when it's over, that's the time I fall in love again. And when oh, yeah, it's over, a... that's the time you're in my heart again. And when you go, 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 I know. And it never ends, it never ends. All the things that I used to say, all the worlds that got in the way, all the things that I used to know have gone out the window. All the things that she used to bring, all the songs she used to sing, all her favorite TV shows have gone out the window. I don't think we need the uh, lyrics. No, I think we do, because it's making me super nostalgic and I'm fucking old. And this is from like 2003. Okay, I have a suggestion so for you. Stop like being 16... old. So that's like 16... 16 years ago, that's over half my age. Hey, that's before I met you. Slightly. I know, yes. I wish I could go back to that time and not go to Arc Dungeon. When it's over, that's the time you want to leave again. I got leggings that are an upgrade. Hooray! I got leggings that are not an upgrade. Hooray! I also got this. Oh, small bag of goods. Okay. Small bag of shit ass. You're shit ass. Oh. What is the one that was really good? Uh, pack them in here. I keep forgetting. Fly. I think that's it. Ugh. All of- Ah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, thanks. All around the world, statues crumble for me. Who knows how long I've loved you. Everywhere I go, people stop and they see. 25 years old and my mother, God rest her soul. I just want to fly. Oh, yeah. I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me. Hey, if you're gonna read the lyrics, you may as well sing. I just did. You didn't even sing, you were just reading them. I just want to fly. That's the best you get on stream. I've never heard you sing off stream. Uh, see. So I'm starting to believe that you actually can't sing. Hold on. I'll try to sing, um, what's it called? A traditional earth ballad. 
With a taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. You're toxic, I'm slipping under. What do you think about that one? Um, well, it is a traditional earth ballad. I also don't believe that you sang that. With a taste of a poison paradise, I'm addicted to you. Don't you know that you're toxic? I'm not a big fan of Britney Spears' music. That song is actually really catchy. Oh, yeah, that song is a traditional earth ballad. Peace it, slay it. Thank you. Pete. What are your thoughts on Lintrig slaying Poon? Poon? Poon. What are you talking about? Uh, Poon is a uh, Pandaren that you murdered last week. Oh, okay, cool. Poon does sound like a uh, Pandaren name, right? Yeah, maybe. When it's over, that's the time I fall in love again. Oh, shit, look at this. What? Spirit Finders. For many ages, the Mogus used flesh as a weapon, warped, bent, and twisted it to their malevolent will. But after their failures in creating the Sorok race, the Mogus sought to create another weapon, this time forged with total obedience. Their ancient research delivered to them methods of turning flesh to stone and back again. Lifeless rock could be animated, provided a willing or unwilling soul could be captured within. I don't know what they have to state if it's willing. I if missed it's some quests. These dark rituals created the Stoneborn. Soldiers of Jade and dark magic forged from the living essence of conquered victims. These creations were powerful, terrible to behold, and above all else, 100% loyal to their Mogu masters. What are you talking about? I missed something over here. Yeah, there's some stuff over there that I can pick up either. I didn't get anything that said that I don't have a turn in over there. Uh, I don't. Me neither. Or. You were reading. Oh, I was reading a pungent ritual. Uh, somebody picked up a oh, ritual shit. candle. What did you just loot? Oh, the bowl. Okay, I didn't see it. Yeah. Anyway, I was reading. Sweet. I was reading a scroll I saw laying around there. Uh, it's oh. not. It wasn't part of a quest. It was just. I was panicking. I was like, shit. I know. It was just a scroll I saw that had some lore. Okay. I have been forgetting to use the the, it's the staff, so thank you. Yeah, I figured you were. That's fine. Okay, let's go to the last item. We'll turn these quests in, and then that'll be it for that video. I just want to fly. Alright, so like there's a jar. Around me, or a baby. Jane Kong. Let me look like I've a Kong. Uh, Alright, you have all, the, all three of the items then? Arms around me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I think she slays Poon on the rag. There you go, V. Thank you. Do I, not... I... Have you found the items we need for the ritual? We cannot guide these spirits back without them. Good work. With these, I can complete the ritual to send all the spirits here, including myself, back where they belong. To think the Mogo continued training the spirit claws for all these years. Did you get the bottles? Thank you, Warrior. I can already sense the spirits within these bottles. They cry out with fear, confusion, rage. Thank you, Mirror and Lumidol. I will take them with me into the nether. Alright, back to nature. I'm afraid I have another favor to ask, Mirror and Lumidol. The bottles you recovered contain neither the spirits of Mogu ancestors nor recently slain foes. They contain spirits of beasts. It seems the spirit claws have resorted to poaching in an effort to fuel their simulacra. This complicates our task, for I cannot take the beasts with me through the bridge. Take the bottle west to Tideview Thicket and smash them in order to return the spirits to nature. Some may be blind with rage and will need to be subdued. A humble offering. I'm almost ready for the ritual. There's just one more thing we need. An offering. Relax, I don't mean a sacrifice. Just a bit of food. There are sure to be mushrooms growing in Tideview Thicket to the northwest that are suitable for this. Please bring some... Alright, let's reset our recording.